So I'm going to share my little adventure that I had with the power hacksaw that I thought was a great deal but turned out to be a rusty mess. First I had to machine two new pins on my lathe for the power hacksaw's top arm mechanism. I started by cutting the old ones with an angle grinder just like a caveman. Then I carefully measured the dimensions and began the machining process. I cut the shaft down to size. Ten TPI, so this handle wants to be all the way over to the side, which puts me in the middle range. And then we've got ten TPI there, so that would be so that's going to be that one there. And then got it on thread. That. Don't know if you saw that, but um, look at that. Didn't even crack the screen. Lucky. Oh, sorry, I lie. He's got a crack in the screen down here now. That's all right, because I got a big crack on the back because I thought it'd be a great idea to plasma cut towards this phone. ...and manually turn 10 P TPI threads on the lathe. After that, I flipped the part and faced off to ensure the pins were a perfect fit. Next, I needed new ball bearings to replace the rusted ones. The old ones were so rusted they looked more like balls of rust than actual bearings. Soaked all of the rusty hydraulic lifting components in evapor rust to remove all of the rust off of the part. Once the rust was gone, I rinsed them off with the water blaster and then I dried them thoroughly. After that, I had to rebuild the entire hydraulic assembly to get this bad boy up and running again. This involved reassembling each part with care, applying lubricant where needed and ensuring all connections were secure and properly aligned. Give it a go. There it goes, as you can see it's starting to move up. Um, I haven't got the limit switch set on it yet, so it should get to there, hit that limit switch which will turn it off. It'll stay there, and then you'll go and um, flick this one here down, I believe, and turn it on. And then, the faster that you open this, the quicker it drops. And then it should get to the bottom of the cart, hit this switch here, and make that, and then it should go back up all by itself. Okay, so it looks like this needs to be adjusted so down a little bit more. Finally, it was time to put the power hacksaw to the test by cutting some steel SHS. I set up the machine, secured the steel in the vise, and I let the newly restored hacksaw do its magic. It sliced through the steel effortlessly, proving that all the hard work had paid off. So in the end, I turned a rusty mesh into a functional power hacksaw, which can now cut steel. There's still a few things left to do on it. I have to fix the bottom container that holds the cutting fluid so that the pump can run and then it can keep that blade cool and I also have to tidy up a bit of the wiring and get that limit switch on there so that when it gets to the top it turns the motor off and then comes to a stop until you're ready to load the next piece in and cut the next bit.